Hello, and welcome to PCI's Tech TV miniseries, New Mosaicing Features in Geomatica. In this episode, we will look at Geomatica's new automatic exposure correction method. More specifically, we will cover the following topics. Perform a compare and contrast of the exposure correction results. And then we will run the exposure correction method, looking at the different settings and showing you how to set up the function. So let's begin by comparing the results of the mosaic without any correction as compared to the mosaic with automatic exposure correction applied. So if we look here we can see we have a mosaic that was generated from Ortho Engine. It's a high resolution aerial photography covering a mostly suburban area but we have two construction sites that we can see have overexposed pixels. Basically these are pixels that are very bright and therefore we don't see any contrast in these regions. These are also known as a bleaching effect. This is very common in desert scenes, as well as areas with very bright soil. So the whole purpose of this is we want to be able to use this lookup table, or this enhancement that's been applied, as it's the most aesthetically pleasing enhancement, but we want to be able to have more contrast in these areas, as a result that we might send to our client or our customer. So what you can do is you can run our exposure correction method, which automatically examines the imagery and then applies corrections to just the pixels that require it. So here, just to compare that, you can see the results of running this algorithm on this data set. So if we just toggle back and forth, you don't see much from an overview perspective, which is, the, which is what you would hope for. But when we zoom into an area, we can see that in this region here, for example, where we have the bleaching effect, you can see that that is for the most part removed. We have significantly more contrast now in this area than compared with before. Examine a different area, for example, over here. Once again, we have that same bleaching effect, which has then been minimized or removed by our, our exposure correction capabilities. And we'll just examine one more area so we can see the before and then the after. Now another important aspect about this algorithm is that while it is correcting these areas, it needs to make sure that it really isn't doing much to change the pixels of features that are not overexposed. So you can see that darker pixels really are not affected by this method. So now we'll show you how to set up and run the exposure correction method. So for this, let's just quickly remove our results. Let's remove it from the area and remove it from the project. So we have our mosaic that comes directly from Ortho Engine. And now we can go to Tools, so we bring it into Focus. Go to Tools, our Algorithm Librarian. Find the desatcher algorithm or method. You can open up the control panel for this uh, particular module. And the first thing is we have to set up the input channels. So for the input reference image layers, we can just point to the channels that we want to perform desaturation on. And then for the actual input image layers themselves, we point to the same channels. We'll view it as an RGB. And the defaults work very well for most imagery. We do expose the parameters, so we give the user the option to play with them to see if they can get even improved results, or with certain data sets, it might be necessary to change these parameters. Now in this case, I'm just going to run with the default. So I can click Run. And now initializes the algorithm and then immediately begins to process it. So the result is automatically rendered onto the viewer. So we'll just uh, zoom out here. We'll apply an enhancement to this image as well as our original so that we have the same enhancement applied. Then we'll zoom back in here and we'll just take a look at this area. So you can see we have a considerable improvement in terms of the contrast in these overexposed areas.